everyone. Today we are gonna learn about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuban Missile Crisis, October 1962, major confrontation that brought the United States and the Soviet Union close to war over the presence of Soviet nuclear armed missiles in Cuba. Having promised in May 1960 to defend Cuba with Soviet arms, the Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev assumed that the United States would take no steps to prevent the installation of Soviet medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. Such missiles could hit much of the eastern United States within a few minutes if launched from Cuba. The United States learned in July 1962 that the Soviet Union had begun missile shipments to Cuba. By August 29 new military construction and the presence of Soviet technicians had been reported by US U-2 spy planes flying over the island. And on October 14 the presence of a ballistic missile on a launching site was reported. After carefully considering the alternatives of an immediate U.S. invasion of Cuba, or air strikes of the missile sites, a blockade of the island, or further diplomatic maneuvers, President John F. Kennedy decided to place a naval quarantine, or blockade, on Cuba to prevent further Soviet shipments of missiles. Kennedy announced the quarantine on October 22 and warned that U.S. forces would seize offensive weapons and associated materiel that Soviet vessels might attempt to deliver to Cuba. During the following days, Soviet ships bound for Cuba altered course away from the quarantine zone. As the two superpowers hovered close to the brink of nuclear war, messages were exchanged between Kennedy and Khrushchev amidst extreme tension on both sides. On October 28 Khrushchev capitulated, informing Kennedy that work on the missile sites would be halted and that the missiles already in Cuba would be returned to the Soviet Union. In return, Kennedy committed the United States never to invade Cuba. Kennedy also secretly promised to withdraw the nuclear armed missiles that the United States had stationed in Turkey in previous years. In the following weeks both superpowers began fulfilling their promises, and the crisis was over by late November. Cuba's communist leader, Fidel Castro, was infuriated by the Soviets' retreat in the face of the U.S. ultimatum but was powerless to act. The Cuban Missile Crisis marked the climax of an acutely antagonistic period in U.S.-Soviet relations. The crisis also marked the closest point that the world had ever come to global nuclear war. It is generally believed that the Soviets' humiliation in Cuba played an important part in Khrushchev's fall from power in October 1964 and in the Soviet Union's determination to achieve, at the least, a nuclear parity with the United States. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you liked the video. In the comments down below feel free to write suggestions regarding the topics you want me to do next.